The Project 941 Aquila boats, known in the West as Typhoon class, are the largest undersea vessels ever built. The Western name became that popular, that even Russians refer these boats as the Typhoon class. These submarines are based on a double hull design that comprises two separate pressure hulls joined by a single outer covering to give increased protection against anti-submarine weapons. The class was built specifically for operations with the Soviet Northern Fleet in the Arctic Ice Pack. The Typhoon class, Project 941 Ecola class, nuclear-powered ballistic missile, SSBN, submarines were constructed at the Severodvinsk shipyard, on the White Sea near Archangel. The first of the six members of the class to be commissioned was Dmitry Donskoy, TK-208, in 1981, followed by TK-202 in 1983, Simbursk, TK-12, in 1984, TK-13 in 1985, Arkhangelsk, TK-17, in 1987 and Severstal, TK-20, in 1989 the submarines were stationed with the Russian Northern Fleet at Litsaguba. Dmitry Donskoy was relaunched following a refit to Project 941 UM in 2002 and is being used as a trials ship. The submarine was transitioned from the Northern Fleet to the Baltic to participate in the main naval parade, which was held in Kronstadt in 2017. Arkhangelsk and Severstal were decommissioned in 2006 and 2004 respectively and are placed on reserve. TK-12 and TK-13 were decommissioned and scrapped. With assistance from the US, through the Cooperative Threat Reduction Program, TK-202 had its nuclear fuel removed by US-funded processing facilities and converted into forms suitable for long-term storage or reuse. The UK agreed to take part in the dismantling of Russia's decommissioned nuclear Submarines. SSBN Typhoon class design The Typhoon class submarine is of multi hulled design, with five inner hulls situated inside a superstructure of the two parallel main hulls. The superstructure is coated with sound absorbent tiles. There are 19 compartments, including a strengthened module, which houses the main control room and electronic equipment compartment, which is above the main hulls. Behind the missile launch tubes, the submarine's design includes features for traveling under ice and icebreaking. It has an advanced stern fin with horizontal hydroplane fitted after the screws. The nose horizontal hydroplanes are in the bow section and are retractable into the hull. The retractable systems include two periscopes, one for the commander and one for general use, radio sextant, radar, radio communications, navigation, and direction finder masts. They are housed within the sail guard. The sail and sail guard have a reinforced rounded cover for icebreaking. Maximum diving depth is 400 m. Speed is 12 k when surfaced and 25 k when submerged. Typhoon is capable of spending 120 days at sea. SSBN Typhoon class missiles The submarine carries 20 RSM-52 intercontinental, three-stage, solid propellant ballistic missiles. The two rows of missile launch tubes are situated in front of the sail between the main hulls. Each missile consists of 10 independently targetable multiple re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, each with a 100 kT nuclear warhead. Guidance is inertial with stellar reference updating. Range is 8,300 km with accuracy, SEP, of 500 m. The missile weighs 84,000 kg at launch and was designed by the Makayev Design Bureau. It has the NATO designation of SSN-20 Sturgeon. In September and December 2005, the Dmitry Donskoy carried out successful flight tests of a new solid-fuel intercontinental ballistic missile, the SSN-30 Bulava, being developed for the Russian Navy. Bulava is reported to have a range of more than 8,000 km and to be able to carry a 550K nuclear warhead. It is based on the land-launched Topol missile, SS-27. Bulava is to arm the Russian Navy's new Bori-class submarines from 2008 and may be retrofitted to the Typhoon-class. SSBN Typhoon class torpedoes Typhoon has four 630mm torpedo tubes and two 533mm torpedo tubes with a total of 22 anti-submarine missiles and torpedoes of varying types. The torpedo room is in the upper part of the bow between the hulls. The torpedo tubes can also be used to deploy mines. SSBN Typhoon class systems The sonar is an active-slash-passive search and attack type with the sonar mounted on the hull under the torpedo room. 
The submarine is fitted with i slash j band surface target detection radar. Countermeasures include ESM, electronic support measures, radar warning system and direction finding system. The submarine has both radio and satellite communications systems. It is fitted with two floating antenna buoys to receive radio signals, target designation data and satellite navigation signals at depth and under ice cover. SSBN Typhoon Class Propulsion The submarine main machinery consists of two nuclear water reactors and two turbo gear assemblies comprising steam turbine and gearbox. One reactor and one turbo gear assembly are fitted in each main hull. Each nuclear water reactor produces 190 MW. These drive 250,000 HP steam turbines and four 3,200 kW turbo generators. Two 800 kW diesel generators serve as standby propulsion units and are coupled to the shaft line. The two propellers are, for years now already, Dmitry Donskoy has been largely used for research and development, test and evaluation, and training purposes. It was notably modified to fire the new RSM-56 Bulava nuclear submarine-launched ballistic missile as part of the development of that weapon. TK-208 conducted the first-ever launch of a prototype RSM-56 in 2005. More recently, independent naval analyst H.I. Sutton, who focuses primarily on all things military that ride beneath the waves, posted satellite imagery on social media of what he said appeared to be the Dmitry Donskoy sailing together with Belgorod in the White Sea. It wouldn't be surprising that these two massive submarines might have been conducting test or training activities together, which would also be in line with TASA's sources saying that TK-208 is still very much in use. That's all for today, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and comment. See you in the next video.